Hello everybody, this is Chris, and in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and generate our resources using our generator and that's about it. Uh, just to be, uh, just to let y'all know, I've gone ahead and set up my database. Actually I haven't, so I'll set it up now. I created a new blank database. It's um if I go to PHP my admin. I called it L4. It's down here somewhere. There it is. And it's just a blank database, it has no tables in it whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a resource. <clears throat> and to do this, we're just gonna using our generator, we're gonna say PHP artisan. generate resource and we're just going to say post then we're going to give it some fields and we're going to say author string comma title colon string comma body colon text then apostrophe <coughs> now what is this going to do this is going to create a migration for us called create posts table it's going to create a model for us called post.php it's going to create four views for us inside of a folder called post these views are going to be create that index.blade.php, show.blade.php, create.blade.php, and edit.blade.php. It's going to create us a posts table seeder inside the database seeds folder, which we won't be using. Uh, it'll update the database seeder to run our posts table seeder. It'll, it'll create a controller called postscontroller.php. And it will fill that controller with RESTful methods. <clears throat> it will also update our routes.php uh, file to include route resource, a route resource. And it will also create a test unit for us. So you can see how this generator can save us so much work. And all I have to do is hit enter. And there we go. Now we all have to do is hit my PHP, PHP artisan migrate install to install our migration table. That has worked. Now simply PHP artisan migrate. So we have migrated our table. And just to make sure, let's refresh our installation here and we, here we have our author title body created at and updated at so we're good to go go back into our application here close this out go into our controls and here we do have a post controller now if you're not under the way we used to do things in level three is totally different than what you're doing what we'll be doing in level four in level three we used to be able to do like we used to have to declare if we were using restaurants we had to do uh, public restful equals true. Remember? And then our uh, our methods were like public function get index. And then we you know we'd start our method. You can still do it this way, except you don't have to declare restful is true. You just have to have to camel case your method. So, if you wanted to do the old way, like get index, you just get rid of this and just do get index. But <clears throat> we'll be using the resourceful controller that the generator generated for us. So, 
just to even get started using this, what I'm going to do to show you how this works is I'm just going to return something. So return this is the index method returned from the post controller. <coughs> now if we go in, we save this and go into the routes, you'll see that we have our standing of route get just the uh, the index. Then we have this. This was generated by the generator. And all it's going to do is route all our methods for us. And we don't have to worry about, you know, route get this, route post that. It's automatically going to do all this for us. So, just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. And if I go to posts, it's not going to show us anything because it's probably post. Post or post? Oh, I didn't put a. Again, here I go, forgetting to put semicolons at the end of my statements. So if we go back in, refresh this, and here we go. So this is coming from the post controller. Okay. So I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we're going to get uh, cracking on this index method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the video into each section. So for each section that we have here, like each method, we're going to have a different video. So for the index method, we'll have a video, create method, we'll have a video, store method, and so on and so on. So stay tuned for the next video, which will be hashing out the index section.